Stuart, a point here today at Celtic Park. What was your thoughts on that game? It's absolutely a, a point gained. Anytime you come here and you take something, Scott, I, I, I'll make no secret of that. Um, I think what pleases me is, if, if I can zone in, and us sort of isolating, us playing against Celtic. This is the third time under uh, my tenure that we've played against Celtic. And I, I've spoken about it in the week, in the build-up, that you have to be something different, I believe. You have to do something different when you play against them. Just by the very nature of the control that they have on games um, and the threats that they carry, it doesn't matter that, you know, if guys like Maeda and, uh, and, and, and one or two others, Hatati, aren't playing, they have those replacements and the guys that basically function in the same way. Um, and I think that it was just really important for us to get through our work this week and, and set up with that game plan, as it always is, by the way. Um, it always is. Um, but I just felt that today, and what's been a tough run for us, I just felt the players executed it really, really well. Um, and I, and I, think, I think they deserved their point. We know Celtic are going to be banging the door down. We know there's going to be chances. Um, but I think what gives me a lot of confidence is, you know, Celtic score from a penalty kick. They won well saved by uh, Liam Kelly. Um, but I look at a couple of chances we had in the first half as well. Harry Payton has won. Blair Spittle and we probably get into areas and I was trying to demand that of the players in the second half that um, when we were getting into their half of the pitch just to show a wee bit more composure because I was happy with the organisation and what we were doing against the ball I just felt that um, we could carry that wee bit extra threat um, but no, listen. All in all, uh, I just said it to the players. This has to be this has to be a kind of milestone moment. This has to be a kind of watershed moment for us because I believe that when you come here and get anything, that that shows that there's a, a real togetherness in a team. There's a real uh, desire to do well for this football club. Um, but we have to use that now moving forward. It's been well versed about our kind of difficult run that we have been on. And a lot of people had been kind of saying that this is probably the last place you want to come in the league. But we spoke to Callum Butcher, for example, in the middle of the week, and he said this is probably one of the better places to come because you can show your own worth and show your true value. How much togetherness is there in that team to go and get a result like that, considering we conceded a late goal again against Celtic? It's massive, Scott. I mean, even, you know, I, I, I'll cite one or two situations when we're, um, we're 2 0 down to St Johnson away from home and we're 4 0 down to Aberdeen. I have no uh, no concerns that this group of players are together. Um, you look at our numbers, I think I was talking about sort of 14, 15 fit senior players is kind of what we've got in this group um, so we do have a togetherness we do have a, an understanding of where we want to be we want to try and turn our form round we want to get back to how it felt for us for long enough uh, when I'd came in and, and beyond that we want to get back to that of course we do um, but there's a lot of challenges in there as well um, but I think the one bit that's probably frustrated me and the players is that we feel that those kind of switch off moments have come all too often for us um, in this run that we've been on and I think today that started to look more like us in terms of level of concentration um, you're fed up here and we say uh, talk about that decision making in big moments in games and you know not switching off making a better decision when you're up against it or when you're in the final third um, and I felt that that was a lot better for us today um, you know we would love to have more ball possession we'd love to have more chances in the game but from exactly how I mapped this game out in my head and what I thought it was going to look like um, you know Celtic's last game I think a lot of people maybe putting us coming into this one in our form and the fact that they, they, they put six past Aberdeen a lot of people were probably putting us in a position where we're cannon fodder today um, but I felt we were anything but that just a quick one on John Obika as well. It's obviously been a very tricky start to the season for John with a couple of injuries. He's been out for a long time. He's stayed really well. He's worked really hard behind the scenes, as we've seen how big a moment during that is for him. And how pleased are you for it to be John Obika getting the goal? For the nicest man in football, as I always say, and he, and he genuinely is. You know, I, I don't think I've met, met a bigger gentleman than John Obika in football. I really, I, I mean that wholeheartedly. Uh, the guy's uh, oozes class and how he conducts himself, how he handles his business. Uh, he, he genuinely does. And it's been a long road to recovery. There's been a couple of hiccups and I think when you when you look back to February when I first came in Scott the first thing that I'd done was John was in my team you know I, I wanted to play John I, I felt he's got great attributes and great qualities that he can bring to your side so it's been a big loss for us to, to have him missing he's worked so hard like you touch on um, he's been he's been working incredibly hard to get himself back to match fitness and I think the thing that really pleases me is I've been watching him in training on a daily basis he sets a standard I can see what he's going to bring to us and what he can give us um, he looked tidy when he came on against Hearts I thought he'd done a lot of good things when he came on against against Hearts that might, a lot of people maybe don't see um, but I think in, in terms of hopefully we, you know we're, we're past those injury concerns with John um, and we just want to move in the right direction because I absolutely know that he adds something to this group of players and it was nice to get him on the pitch today and even, even more special to get his goal Thanks for your time Stuart